Hi, welcome to Moose and Chemistry. This is Molarity and Molality Problems Lesson A. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve molarity and molality problems in different formats. Okay, first of all, we know that molarity is the following equation. Molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solution. We know that molality equals moles of solute over mass of solvent in kilograms. Okay, so let's look at a couple problems. What if we knew our liters of solution and we knew our molality or molarity? Could we find the grams of a particular solute? And the answer is yes. So let's look at a problem. What if we had 1.00 liters of a 0 0.125 molarity K2SO4? Okay, no problem. So now we know that we have 0. 1, 2, 5 equals, and then we go moles of solute over 1.00 liters. Okay, so now what we're going to do is of, this is going to be K2SO4. So what we're going to calculate is the moles of K2SO4. So this is going to give me... Um, 0 0.125 uh, moles of K2SO4. But we want what is the mass in grams. So if we want to find the mass in grams of this, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to know the molar mass of K2SO4. So K2SO4. So we got we got two of K, which is um, K is 39.10. Oh, we've got one S, which is 32.07, and we have four oxygens at 16.00. So let's see here. 39.10 oh, times two gives me 78. 0 0.20, 32.07, and of course, 64 oxygens. So we're going to add these all up. This will give me 174.27 grams per mole of K2SO4. Since we know we have 0 0.12 five moles of K2SO4, we're simply going to use this formula. We're going from uh, my moles back to my grams. So we go 0 0.125 moles of K2SO4 times 174, get that a little bit cleaner for you, 174.27 grams of K2SO4 divided by one mole of K2SO4. So our moles will cancel out. So we just multiply that by 0 0.125 and that gives me exactly 21.78 grams of K2SO4. All right. Well, let's look at these problems again. So let's clear these drawings. In this case, we have 375 milliliters of 0.015 molarity of NaF. And we want to solve that problem. Now, remember that molarity uh, is equal to moles of solute over 
leaders of solution. Okay, first of all, we don't have leaders of solution. We have milliliters of solution. So we have to change 375 milliliters into liters. So let's do that. So we go 375 milliliters. We want to change that into liters. So we put 375 down here. Give it a decimal. A milliliter is a thousandth of a liter, so we're going to move it one, two, three spaces. So this is going to give me 0.375 liters. All right, now we know our liters, which will go here, and we know our molarity, which will go here. So now we're going to set this equation up. 0 0.015 equals moles of solute over 0.375, whoops, 0.375 liters. Okay, so now we're just going to multiply the two. So moles of solute is going to equal 0 0.015 times 0.375. Okay, so let's multiply that together. 0 0.015 times 0.375. Wow, that's going to give me 0.56 times 10 to the negative third, or 0 0.0056 moles of NaF. Well, so how many grams? Do I have of NaF? Okay, that's not a problem. So what we do is we go, okay, NaF. We got one Na at one times twenty-two point nine nine, and one F at 18.99, let's add that together, 22.99 plus 18.99 equals 41.98 grams per mole of NaF. So now if we want to know how many grams we have, we go 0 0.0056 moles of NaF times uh, 41.98 grams of NaF over one mole of NaF. So in essence, I'm going from my moles back to my grams. Okay, so we just multiply the two. Cancels that, cancel that out. Times 0 0.0056 equals, there we have it, um, that is going to be 0 0.24 grams of NaF. Okay, well, let's try one more here. Let's see here. We want to do um, a molality problem. So we're going to do a molality problem, so we're going to clear the drawings again. Okay, now, to do a molality problem, remember that molality is moles of solute over mass of solvent in kilograms. All right, well, our solvent's going to be H2O. And we have our moles of KCl on top. So if we set this up, we know that 1.80 moles of KCl goes on top. Okay, we do know that. But what we don't know is this here first. So we need to calculate that. We know that we have 16.0 moles of H2O. So we want to turn that into grams of H2O. So we're going to times that by one mole, uh, or divide by one mole of H2O. And then we need the molar mass of H2O. So H2O, 
So we go H is 2 times 1.01. .01. Oxygen is 1 times 16.00. This is going to give me 2.02. .02. This is going to give me 16.00, so this is going to give me 18.02 grams per mole of H2O. Okay, great. So we're going to put this up here. We're going to 18.02 grams of H2O. So our moles cancel out, and this is going to give me 18.02 times 16. And that's going to give me 288.32 grams of H2O. All right. However, the question mark here has to be in kilograms, right? So we've got to convert 288.32 grams of H2O into kilograms of H2O. So you put down 288.32. Remember that the arrow always points a smaller unit. Grams are smaller than kilograms. And you're going to move over three. One, two, three. So that's going to give me 0.28832 kilograms. So now we know what to put here. So let me go ahead and erase this. Okay, and now we're going to put in this number here. Remember, it's moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kilograms. So we're going to go 0 0.28832, and let's hope for the best. 1.80 divided by 0 0.28832. Bingo! Perfect. The molal is going to be exactly 6.24 little m of KCl. That is the molality. Well, that's it for this lesson. You guys have a snarly day. We'll see you back here at Moosing Chemistry.